Hi, welcome to the Vitamin Chica channel. Today we're going to be talking about cholesterol lowering dietary supplements. It's important to maintain a normal cholesterol level because if your cholesterol is too high, that puts you at a high risk for heart attacks and strokes. Did you know that the CDC says that 95 million Americans that are aged 20 years old or older already have high cholesterol? That's why I thought this was an important topic to talk about, to find out about supplements that can lower your cholesterol levels or help you maintain a normal cholesterol level before your doctor puts you on some prescription statin drug. So the cholesterol is a fat-like substance that's created in our liver. And not just in our liver, it also comes from the food we eat. Not any foods, but foods that come from animal sources. So these fat-like spherical particles, they flow through our bloodstream, and those are called HDL and LDL. You might have heard of good and bad cholesterol. Well, that's what they were talking about. HDL is the good cholesterol, and LDL is the bad cholesterol. So we also have other fats. They're called triglycerides. The triglycerides is the fat in our bodies. So that is much more abundant. So now when you also hear people talk about total cholesterol. So total cholesterol is a combination of all of these triglycerides. It is HDL plus the LDL and only one fifth of the triglycerides. That equals your total cholesterol level. So now let's talk about some dietary supplements to keep that cholesterol in check. The first dietary supplement we're going to talk about is Reggie's Rice. Reggie's Rice is a traditional Chinese medicine used for many, many years. The starting material is white rice. The white rice is then fermented with a yeast called Monascus purpurus. What makes the Reggie's Rice so effective is the active component called Monoclin K. So Monoclin K is the same active ingredient in the prescription drug called lovastatin, used to lower cholesterol. So the difference between the dietary supplement red yeast rice and the lovastatin is to become a dietary supplement, the red yeast rice has to have a maximum level of monoclin K of 0.1%. If it's any higher, it's considered a prescription drug. But there has been clinical studies done with the dietary supplement red yeast rice. And when you take 2,400 milligrams of Reggie's rice supplement twice a day, it's been shown to decrease the bad cholesterol and decrease triglycerides and overall decrease total cholesterol. I have put all the links below for the clinical studies and I also added a product that contains 600 milligrams of Reggie's rice per capsules. So you would have to take four capsules twice a day to mimic the clinical study and get those effective results. The next dietary supplement I want to talk about is called Pantocene Pantothene. This is derivative from vitamin B5. It is very effective in lowering your cholesterol. Look at the clinical studies. 900 milligrams of Pantocene showed in four months to increase your good cholesterol HDL by 8%, it decreased your bad cholesterol, your LDL, by 20%, and it also decreased your triglycerides by 33%. So I will be putting the clinical studies below, and I've also put a product with 300 milligrams per capsule of Pantocene. You would have to take three capsules per day to meet the 900 milligram requirement and follow the clinical studies to get these benefits. The last dietary supplement we're going to talk about is the clinically studied registered trademark Bergamonte. Bergamonte is extracted from the citrus fruit bergamot, which is found in the southern tip of Italy. It has many benefits. For example, it's a powerful antioxidant with an auric value of over 20,000. An auric value that high is important because it has the capacity to bind the free radicals within your body. Another benefit is that it helps support healthy glucose and it also helps your cholesterol. As you can see from the chart, there was a clinical study made 
at 500 milligrams per day and 1,000 milligrams per day of bergamot compared to placebo. And you see that it has increased the good cholesterol, HDL, it's reduced the bad cholesterol, LDL, and reduced triglycerides. I have placed links below for the clinical studies so you can read along and see how they conducted the study. And a product link for a product that contains 500 milligrams per capsule so if you could take 500 milligrams or you can take two capsules to do the 1,000 milligram dose. I hope you enjoyed this conversation about how to lower your cholesterol and maintain a healthy cholesterol. It's really important to stay healthy. And that's it from me, the Vitamin Chica.